Hi everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to start our first section of the tutorial. Very beginner if you never used this slicer before. An intro to this software is called Chichibox Pro. I'll assure you. This is one of the most recommended pieces software that I have seen. Okay. This is what you get when you open the Chichibox Pro. These are the basic settings. Very simple and easy to learn. Let's start with the caption bar and menu bar. And this is where you can find the shortcut keys for opening projects and saving projects. Then undo and redo button. The file name will be placed in the middle. Logins, screenshots, maximize and minimize windows and close button are on the right. Here's the menu bar. And this is where you manually change things. Like start, prepare, repair, support, analyze slash measure, and setting slash help. And each menu key comes with a submenu. On the left side of the window is the toolbar. Shows the select, move, rotate, scale, and mirror options. If you click it, it brings up the submenu. I'll explain these key functions later. Alright, on the right side of the window. Shows the file list and slice list. Add, select, reverse select, automatic coloring, display size, and delete files are provided in this file section. Also, in the slicing part comes with bad, delete, import, export, and reset buttons. When you need to slice your model, you are going to use this zone. As there's a shortcut for you to set the required printing parameter easily. There are a couple of strategies that all work well for the model slice. And this is your slider for going up and down the model. Here's another preview with the X and Y button, which means you can see the cross section of the model horizontally or vertically. Display window. Here, you can individually arrange your models by clicking and dragging them on this panel. Or if you want to operate on each side of the model, click the cube here, upper right corner. global coordinates at the lower left corner. And here are the tooltips that usually show the shortcut keys list. You can also click the arrow here to fold this section if you want to maximize the display window. The bottom menu displays the list of your available printing machines. You can easily add or delete your machines by clicking the column. Hide platform is also another option you can use. Here you have the ability to check your models in four different ways. Like the left side view, the top side view, the front view, and the main view operate on any of the small windows, the other three will synchronize the performance. Here on the right side shows your model's info, like how many vertexes do your models have? Triangles, supports volume and price etc. Or point your model here will show your model's XYZ coordinates info as well. Okay, let's talk about specific functions of the left side toolbar. Obviously, the select button can help you to operate your models a lot easier. By using line, curve, rectangle, polygon, and freeform options to frame your models. And one key operation for select all or cancel all, which is awesome. To move a model. You can individually lay out your models by clicking and dragging them around on the plate here. Or if you want to auto layout. You can auto layout along the center. Or manually move your models. Or reset. Double click the model, or point to the menu here, it also brings up the rotated rings. You can put in values which are really cool. You can also rescale your models. You can either go on the XYZ axis and locks the ratio if prefer your model in an original form. Or you want to choose not to have the access lock, so you can make the model in your own way. That is totally up to you. Here if you want to mirror your models. You can very easily mirror your model if you want a left or right version of a particular model that you print. You can choose to keep the original model if you want. So this is all for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video and learned something useful. Shichubox Pro runs on Mac and PC, and we are still updating new functions. Wait for our next section of the tutorial. Thank you very much. See you next time.